guys, so I'm on vacation in South Africa, Johannesburg, and uh, I haven't posted anything in a long time, but I figured I'll make a short video about some of the trucks I've seen here that are similar to the mini trucks that, uh, uh, like the one I have. So um, I was uh, lucky enough to have, um, one of my wife's cousins has a, um, a business here and they have a, a Honda, Hyundai H100 uh, truck, uh, work truck and uh, they're gonna let me film, uh, do a short video about it, and uh, film some of the uh, features about it. So, um, uh, I'm gonna take a quick walk around and just talk about some of the features it has that are a little bit different than the stuff we drive back in the States and take it from there. So this is the workforce here in uh, South Africa. This is the Hyundai H100. Um, gonna do a couple of shots of them on the street but it's uh, bigger than what we call a mini truck it's uh, longer and wider and they have different uh, versions some have extended cabs uh, I've seen some with an extended bed some with a short wheelbase bed uh, some are covered and I've seen these things modified to do just about anything um, these are actually three seaters let me just go around to show you here so um, I have this uh, the passenger seat lifted up but um, you can see the engine actually says Kia I believe this is either a 2.6 or a 2.7 diesel motor um, does not have um, uh, does not have a turbo it's a non-turbo uh, car and I think these make around 77 horsepower uh, but they make about 130 pound-feet of torque um, So this one's got a uh, Manual transmission looks like a five-speed and I believe these are all rear wheel rear wheel drive in South Africa There's really no need for four-wheel drive because these are not off-road vehicles at all um, Let me just see if I could put this down here So you can see three passenger um, th these don't look that much wider than the ones we have in the US but uh, but they actually are take a look at it gonna, so you, you also have the the side gates that drop down if you need to and yep it's a rear-wheel drive but, see they look very similar to the uh, the Suzuki's and the Honda's this one has a fiberglass canopy actually much larger bed a lot wider a lot longer than the mini trucks um, they told me the reason why they have the covered bed is because uh, to prevent theft so um, here. I thought here would be the uh, filler for the gas and the oil, but it uh, looks like it's an access panel to nothing. So, guys, I just wanted to do a short video about this uh, mini truck. Well, I don't want to call it a mini truck, but this is a uh, similar layout to a mini truck, but it's just a workhorse here. You just see them on the road all day long like one out of every 10 cars is one of these things modified somehow to serve a certain purpose and um, there are I have seen some Kias and some Daihatsu's but the Kias are basically just a, a different uh, badge and, and headlights but it's the same basic truck just want to show you a little bit more of the interior so looks like it has uh, air conditioning and uh, heat uh, much more modern interior than the ones we see in the states obviously because they're 92s 93s 94s this I believe is a 2009 um, and uh, I mean that's basically um, the gist of it you can see you could uh, you have plenty of room it's almost like a like a three uh, passenger pickup truck in the front except you have no hood 
All right, so I found out this is actually a foot, a foot peg for you to step up if you have to get up to the canopy. Um, here's your battery. The wheels are 15 inch wheels, the five bolt look pattern, 195, 70, 15. Um, and you do have leaf sus suspension in the back, uh, leaf spring suspension, huge muffler. Okay, you have your gas, gas filler right here. It's the gas tank under there. Transmission. Basically, it. it's the H100. All right, guys. So I had to kind of rush it a little bit because they were waiting for me to finish the video because they had a, a delivery to make. So they were waiting for me to finish talking or uh, filming the, the little truck before they could go and do the delivery. So uh, I was a little bit rushed, but I got some information on the truck. So it is a 2.6 liter diesel. Uh, what I was told is. Uh, they used to make a turbo, a, I think it was a 1.3 liter turbo uh, gasoline engine, but the turbos kept popping on those, so they decided to go back to the naturally aspirated ones, which are basically bulletproof. Uh, so it's a 2.6 uh, liter uh, four-cylinder uh, diesel. It makes um, 167 uh, newton meters of torque, which I converted to pound-feet of torque, and it's 123 pound-feet of torque. Um, the power is uh, um, the horsepower is 78 horsepower and it was actually 58 kilowatts so I had to convert that um, the top speed is about 78 miles per hour um, and uh, it gets about 24 miles per gallon which is not that great um, I, I have a V8 Mercedes that gets that on the highway so although that is combined but um, it takes the it has a, a 65 liter fuel tank so that's 17 gallons but that gives you a range of about a 410 miles and uh, so I, I asked why why is why are these so popular here and in South Africa so in the US you basically have your regular motor vehicle driver's license and then you could have a special driver's license for CDL right so there's two levels of CDL in the US there's air brakes and then there's articulated with air brakes so air brakes is basically like you could drive a delivery truck as long as it with air brakes you need a CDL already in the US but if it doesn't have air brakes you could still drive a box truck um, as long as it's got standard brakes with a standard driver's license and then obviously you have your other CDL uh, for um, you know driving a tractor trailer which is articulated in South Africa it's a lot more complex there's a uh, to drive a, a box truck even without air brakes you need a specialized driver's license so well, the reason why they love these things is you could drive it with a regular driver's license it's just considered like a car so you don't have to have any kind of special license which uh, means you don't have to have any special training or anything to drive them um, and uh, also the price they cost 270,000 rand rand is the uh, monetary unit in uh, South Africa 270,000 Rand is $18,000, brand new. Uh, and that is for the base model. They do have an extended cab and then they have a dump truck version, side dump, all that stuff. Uh, just like the mini trucks that uh, we import from Japan. But um, that's basically it. Just want to give you some more information about it. But I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I was uh, on vacation. I hadn't posted anything in a while. I figured it might be a good uh, thing to post just to see. Uh, on a completely different part of the world what they're uh, using and believe me I've seen this thing doing everything from carrying people in the bed to um, being a refrigerated box truck so um, it really really is a workhorse um, so guys thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to subscribe and like thank you Yeah.